The Clone Wars may have ended with the rise of the Empire, but the battle still rages on for Clone Commander Rex and the return of Kaylani, the super tactical battle droid with a massive chip on his shoulder. This week's episode of Star Wars Rebels is called The Last Battle, and I think that's a very fitting title, as this is essentially the final confrontation in the Clone Wars. We're gonna see the return of the Separatist Army, which means lots of clankers, battle droids, destroyer droids, and the return of fan-favorite Kehlani, the super tactical battle droid. Immediately I knew that this was going to be a good episode. Why? Because it involved the character of Rex, who is arguably one of the greatest creations from Star Wars Clone Wars, and seeing him interact with all of our brand new characters in Rebels was always such a treat in the second season of the show. Here though, we finally get to see him go through his final character arc, and what I think is probably one of the most interesting parallels that I've ever seen between a clone trooper and a battle droid. So basically, the main story of this week's episode is that Rex, Kanan Jarrus, Ezra Bridger, Gareth Zabarellios, and everybody's favorite pissed off droid Chopper are going to the Agamar system, where they're going to be hoping to pick up a lot of weapons that they can give to the fledgling rebellion. When they arrive on the planet, you get this great image of all of these destroyed and derelict ships from the Clone Wars, and they're almost immediately confronted by a group of battle droids. This scene is really important, as a lot of the Jedi characters, Garazeb and everything, they don't take these battle droids all that seriously, and I can understand why. They're goofy, they're gangly, and they have a lot of ridiculous dialogue. But Rex knows how dangerous these things can be in large numbers. So the Jedi and Rex are captured, and they're confronted by Kailani, the super tactical battle droid, who still believes that the Clone Wars are going on and they're still at war with the Republic. And he's also completely obsessed with sort of making up for all of his mistakes from the past and proving that battle droids are a superior fighting force. So they decide to have a little bit of war games with Rex and the Jedis, where essentially they're going to have Garazeb be a hostage, and they're going to force the Jedi and Rex to fight against his battle droid army, work their way inside, and save the hostage. Essentially, this is just an excuse for a lot of cool action, but what I think I love most about it is the parallel that's actually going on between Rex and Kehlani. In a sense, they're incredibly similar, almost the same exact character, and that's a big accomplishment because one of them is a cloned human and the other one is a freaking battle droid. The reason that I bring this up is that it is fascinating that these are two characters who were essentially programmed from their births to be the perfect warriors. They were both created for one singular purpose, which is to go to war and to kill shit. And as soon as these two characters interact with each other, the spark is lit and these two characters are at war again. Rex is taking this entire operation very seriously, and he doesn't want any of Ezra's bullshit, who manages to get him in a lot of trouble in this episode, as well as establishing the fact that Rex himself is not the young buck that he used to be. Despite the fact that he's still incredibly capable in a battle, there's a lot of scenes this week where he straight up gets shot by blasters or even has his helmet knocked off, yet still managing to show a little bit of ingenuity in taking out some of these battle droids, which you're going to get to see a lot of great scenes with that this week. A lot of standard stuff with Kanan and Ezra deflecting shots while Rex takes them out one by one, throwing bombs, but there's a great scene where Ezra actually gets to use the power of the Force to take out a large number of these battle droids and it's only a matter of time that they actually make their way to Kehlani. And the main reason that they are able to fight these damn droids so well is because, frankly, they're old. They need to be dusted off and they clearly need an oil change. They are just not strong enough to fight against these Jedi and their powerful weapons, not to mention they have a clone commander with them. However, what is probably the most intriguing part of the episode is the fact that Ezra not only stops this confrontation, but actually ends up befriending and bringing Kehlani into their fold. How he does this is that he explains that the Republic eventually became the Empire, so therefore the Empire should be the enemy of the battle droids. And the timing could not be more perfect, because suddenly the Empire just arrives at the end of the episode to start messing up all types of shit. And I think my favorite scene here has got to be when the battle droids go out and confront the stormtroopers, where first they just try to communicate with them, and then suddenly they all start getting attacked. You have that one who starts to run away, and suddenly he's completely stomped when an Adat just drops down from a ship and crushes him. This leads to a great confrontation where Ezra, King 
Kanan, Kehlani, freaking Rex, and the rest of the characters have to team up with the battle droids and fight back against the Empire and make a really quick escape. There's something ingenious about this scene. The fact that they were able to sort of bring these characters into their team and work so well with them, while still at the same time having this intense rivalry. Both Kehlani and Rex still argue about which force would actually be stronger, the original clone troopers or even just the battle droids, and yet seeing them come together just makes a lot of sense. And it's all because of Ezra. He really surprised me. I thought he was going to be very annoying in this episode, but he ended up being incredibly instrumental in their victory. Despite the fact that a few battle droids were lost, Kehlani actually does manage to escape, he assesses the situation, and for him, the war is complete. The same goes for Rex as well. This was kind of like a therapeutic battle for him. It allowed him to sort of come to peace with his origins and allow him to grow a little bit more as a character. There's a lot of scenes in the episodes where he can't get rid of his old military ways by either calling Kanan Sir or Commander, and he just always has to act like a soldier. He has to be reminded that he's no different from a battle droid. He's simply been programmed from birth, and like I said, I think that's the most intriguing thing about this episode right here. So what's the rundown on this week's episode of Star Wars Clone Wars? A very simple but very fun episode. I honestly didn't see it going this way at all. I thought it was going to be very standard with basically just the group going in and fighting against some battle droids. But Ezra actually managing to convince Kehlani that they should join forces I think was probably the best thing that could have happened for this episode, if only for the fact that we got to see some battle droids fighting against the Empire, which is something that I thought was really awesome, getting to see this old tech fighting against this new tech. And like I said, it was just satisfying as hell to see that walker crush a battle droid. It was hilarious and it also demonstrated how quick the Empire can actually overrun the forces. It was only a matter of time before they had all of this massive weaponry in such a small space. I also really love the development between Rex and Ezra in this episode, how in the first half, basically Rex hated Ezra. He was annoying him, he was going against the mission, he wasn't following any of the protocol or orders, and yet in the second half, Ezra ended up opening up his mind to not being such a mindless hive mind soldier anymore. I don't know, there's just something really great about that, and I like when they insert that type of stuff into Star Wars Rebels. It gives a little more substance aside from all the pew pew, lightsaber, lightsaber. And ultimately, I am really glad that this series is sort of like the perfect mixture of old Star Wars and new Star Wars. Ultimately, I would say that this is probably one of my favorite episodes of Rebels period, and probably one of my favorite episodes from this season. I just really enjoyed all of the action and the development between the characters, and just getting to see like how the Clone Wars can connect to modern times, and you really get to see them connect by the end when the battle droids go to war with the Empire, something that I thought was just a really great visual. Overall, though, this was a great episode with some cool substance, lots of cool Star Wars action, and still building upon the birth of the Rebel Alliance. So I'm going to give this one right here a 5 out of 5. I honestly have no complaints with it. Uh, I'm sure there's some folks out there who are probably not going to like this episode, thinking that the battle droids are a little goofy, and yes, they are goofy, but they've always been that way, so I'm just willing to accept that. That being said, this was an episode that featured Rex, one of the greatest characters from Clone Wars, and a great character in this series as well, getting over sort of his post-traumatic stress disorder in this episode. There was even a scene where he was waking up after being captured and actually thought that he was talking to Commander Cody, and ultimately that was so great about this episode. Rex was able to grab his past self and rip him furiously into the future, which made this a fantastic episode of Star Wars Rebels. So please check this week's episode out, Star Wars fans. If any of you did watch this week's episode of Star Wars Rebels, make sure to tell me what you thought about it in the comments section below. Were you excited to see an episode which revolved around Rex? What did you think about the return of Kehlani? And what about that awesome team up at the end with the battle droids, the brand new Jedi, teaming up against the Empire. Please tell me your thoughts in the comment section below and also what you hope to see from the rest of Star Wars Rebels. Thank you guys so much for watching this review. I really appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you liked this video. Please leave it a like. And as always, I will see you guys next time. May the Force be with you. Lightsaber, lightsaber!